Greetings everyone, Dr. Taylor Tennant here, and in today's balance segment, we're going to discuss core strength. Now, the core is made up of all the muscles around your abdominal cavity and your thorax. So these are going to include your abdominals, the rectus abdominis, the internal, external obliques, the transverse abdominis, and even include our back musculature. It's also going to include our hip complex, our lower lumbar pelvic hip complex, so our hip muscles and our glutes, even including our latissimus dorsi in the back. A good stable core is what's going to allow us to have an excellent quality of life. One thing that we want to make sure that we keep in mind is that when I take the time to work on core strengthening, I'm able to do things that I enjoy, whether that's playing a sport that I've always wanted to do, getting on the ground with the grandkids to play with them, getting up safely or moving things in and out of a vehicle. So core strength is a vital part of what we should be doing in our daily activities. A Harvard study even identified that core strength correlated to posture. So by keeping and maintaining a good core, I'm able to limit the wear and tear that my spine is exposed to on a regular basis. Additionally, a good core and being mindful of our core helps improve our breathing concepts and how we're able to intake and exhale air so that we're able to function better and more clearly. In today's session, we're gonna look at a handful of different core exercises that you can do from a seated position or from the mat on the ground. The first one that we're going to talk about is just simply pelvic tilting. So pelvic tilts, I'll sit at the edge of my chair and I'll put my hands on my hip. Now imagine your hip set as a bowl. We have a bowl full of water, we'll tip it forward, the water spills forward. We tip our hips backward, the water spills back. So that's what we would practice. So you're going to sit with a tall spine, Pull that belly button in just slightly. Imagine a small rope around the belly button pulling back towards the spine. In that position, you're going to feel a little bit of abdominal bracing, and you're going to rotate the pelvis just like if you were rotating a bowl. So we'll tip our hips forward. You might feel a small pinch in the low back, and we'll tip them backward. You might feel your back flatten or even your thoracic round a little bit. So coming back and forward, Pelvic tilts while keeping the abdominal brace is an excellent exercise. You can do this seated, standing, or on the ground. A great cue when we get on the ground is your back will be completely flat. Another exercise is called the dead bug. I love dead bugs, even though it sounds funny. So in the dead bug position, from seated, we'll sit upright as we are, extend the arms forward, and what we'll do is we'll work on raising opposite arm, opposite leg. So it's just an upward motion and a lower motion. And you want to make sure that you're not rocking as you do this. You want to try to keep as minimal movement as possible so as you shift weight from side to side. And make sure that you continue breathing with each exercise. The last one I want to talk about from a seated position or from an upright position is a plank progression. Now I love the planks. You can do this a couple of ways. You can do it from a standing position, so working with the counter. You can put your arms, come out at, instead of being totally upright, or we'll come out at a slight angle. I'm gonna push through my hands, make sure that my wrists, elbows, and shoulders are stacked. I'm gonna give a slight press to my shoulders to make sure that they're strong, so my rotator cuff and my shoulder blades are gonna round just slightly. I'm going to tighten my belt button, again, pulling that belly button into the spine, and I'm going to squeeze my glutes and my hips. From this position, I'm just going to hold. I'm going to hold for 10, 20, 30 seconds. If you can go up to a minute, that's wonderful. We can progress this even further. So then we could take it at another incline where we take our chair and we come to an almost uh, 45 degree angle. And again, we'll hold this position the same way. Notice my elbows, wrists, and shoulders are all stacked in line. And again, my glutes are contracted, my back is flat, my shoulders are slightly squeezed together, making sure that I've got a strong complex. And again, I'll hold from here. 
Now, if we moved everything to the floor, this is what that series would look like. So from the ground, I'll lay back on my mat or on the ground. And in my pelvic floor position, so if I do my pelvic tilts, I nice and flat. What I'm gonna do is rotate my pelvis backwards, so tipping that bowl backwards. I'll flatten my back on the ground and that'll naturally increase tension in my core. Again, I'm holding this for time. And I'll relax, tighten, relax, and tighten. Just like that. The next one we can do are dead butts. And again, very similar to what we saw on the chair. But in this position, I'll lay back, arms are up, legs are at a 90 degree angle. So I want to make sure I'm getting an L shape here. My arms are strong, joints are stacked, opposite arm, opposite leg. So as I take my right arm back, my left leg taps, and then I come forward. Left leg, right arm. So we're always feeling an opposite motion. And again, my core is in that pelvic tilt position, so I'm posteriorly tilted. My back is flat, and I'm able to develop strength through this movement. And again, I'm breathing regularly. Lastly, we're going to talk about the planks from the ground level. You can do a couple different things. We can do just the traditional push-up position where we're uh, totally flat against the ground and I'm just stacking again my joints and I'm maintaining this position. I can also modify it so that I begin on my knees instead. The other option is to begin from the elbows and hold again, elbows stacked underneath the shoulders. I'm holding the position this way and if that's too hard to start, I'm going to bend my knees and limit the lever arm of my torso and again holding here. Hopefully you enjoyed these videos and they're helpful to you and I look forward to seeing you again at our next series. Take care.